Jupiter, the colossal enigma of our solar system, has intrigued scientists and stargazers for centuries. This immense gas giant, with its unpredictable storms, fierce winds, and hidden mysteries, continues to baffle our understanding. Join us on an intriguing journey to uncover the secrets of this mysterious world. Jupiter's complexity has been the subject of decades of study, revealing its intricate nature. Just recently, scientists made a fascinating discovery, they found 12 new moons orbiting this gas giant, bringing the total to an astonishing 92 moons, more than any other planet in our solar system. These new moons vary in size, ranging from 1 to 3.2 kilometers, 0.6 to 2 miles, in diameter. Many of them have extensive orbits, taking over 550 days to complete one revolution around Jupiter. What's interesting is that they rotate in the opposite direction compared to Jupiter, suggesting they might be captured asteroids. For a long time, it was believed that Jupiter acted as a protective shield, safeguarding Earth from potential space threats. This protective role was thought to be crucial for life to evolve on our planet. However, recent findings have challenged this idea. Long-period comets, originating from distant regions of the solar system, often approach Earth's vicinity. Jupiter's powerful gravitational pull redirects most of these comets away from the solar system before they can pose a threat to Earth. While the chances of such comets colliding with Earth are extremely rare, thanks to Jupiter, its role as Earth's guardian might not be as significant as previously thought. Jupiter's gravitational influence has both positive and negative effects on Earth and our solar system. On the positive side, its immense gravity prevents nearby space debris from coalescing into a planet, resulting in the formation of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. However, Jupiter's gravitational pull can also alter the trajectories of asteroids, sometimes causing them to deviate towards the Sun. This shift in trajectory increases the likelihood of collisions with Earth, as seen in the case of Lexel's comet in 1770. The theory that Jupiter ejects long-period comets from the solar system was supported by computer simulations, but more recent data suggests a different scenario. Jupiter's gravity interacts with the asteroid belt, clearing out rogue asteroids and redirecting them inward, playing a significant role in shaping our solar system's dynamics. The presence of water on Jupiter has also intrigued scientists. Water vapor was first detected on the gas giant in 1995 by the Galileo spacecraft. Recent data indicates that water makes up about 0.25% of Jupiter's atmosphere near its equator. While this might seem small, it's a considerable amount due to Jupiter's massive size. Understanding the water content in Jupiter is essential for unraveling the mysteries of our solar system's formation. In recent years, the Juno spacecraft has provided valuable insights into Jupiter's atmosphere. Juno's observations have revealed water within the planet's famous Great Red Spot and detected evidence of lightning in the gas giant's clouds. Lightning in Jupiter's upper atmosphere is a result of a combination of water and ammonia forming electrical charges. As we explore deeper into Jupiter's layers, we confront the idea of its rocky core. While it was once believed that all giant planets in our solar system had a solid core, recent research has challenged this notion. The true nature of Jupiter's core remains a topic of investigation, adding yet another layer of mystery to this colossal world. Jupiter, with its intricate moons, gravitational dynamics, and enigmatic water-rich atmosphere, continues to astonish and perplex scientists. As we journey deeper into its mysteries, we gain a glimpse into the complex and fascinating mechanisms that shape our solar system's largest planet. Using data collected from Juno's orbit, scientists are still studying the distribution of matter inside Jupiter. Recent discoveries have revealed an unexpected mystery within the gas giant's core. Jupiter's core experiences extreme pressures and temperatures far greater than those on Earth. To understand these conditions, scientists use powerful lasers to recreate Jupiter's pressures in a laboratory. The Center for Matter at Atomic Pressures CMAAP, at the University of Rochester is at the forefront of this research. The density of materials in Jupiter's core depends on their composition and properties. Surprisingly, recent findings shed new light on this topic. Let's delve into the fascinating world of Jupiter, our solar system's giant, and explore some amazing revelations that challenge what we thought we knew. Deep within Jupiter's inner regions, scientists have made a surprising discovery. Contrary to previous beliefs, Jupiter's core isn't as compact as we once thought. In fact, only 18% of its material is rocky. The majority of Jupiter is composed of hydrogen, making up about 90% of its composition, with helium making up roughly 10%. 
There are also trace amounts of other elements. Hydrogen on Jupiter exists much like a gas in the outer layers, similar to how it does on Earth. However, as you venture deeper into the planet, the increasing atmospheric pressure transforms hydrogen into a dense fluid that conducts electricity and heat like a metal. This unique substance, known as liquid metallic hydrogen, plays a crucial role in Jupiter's immense magnetic field. On Earth, elements can exist as solids, liquids, or gases depending on temperature and pressure. Hydrogen, although typically a gas, can turn into a liquid or solid under specific conditions. However, even in these states, it remains non-metallic and doesn't conduct heat or electricity efficiently. Deep within gas giants like Jupiter, extreme temperature and pressure convert hydrogen into different states, including liquid metallic hydrogen. In this state, hydrogen atoms lose their electrons, creating a mixture of free hydrogen nuclei and electrons, similar to metals. Some scientists theorize that Jupiter's core might be filled with vast oceans of liquid metallic hydrogen, possibly 12 to 45 times more massive than Earth. This layer, about 40,000 kilometers deep, combined with Jupiter's rapid rotation, generates an enormous magnetic field, the largest in our solar system. Going deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere, scientists have uncovered a newly identified area known as the Great Blue Spot. Unlike the famous Great Red Spot, the Great Blue Spot is a region of significantly colder temperatures. Jupiter's magnetic field is a staggering 20,000 times stronger than Earth's and originates from a wide area in the northern hemisphere, re-entering near the South Pole. This magnetic field is intricate, with fluctuations in its strength. The Great Blue Spot is a concentrated region just south of the equator, resembling a second South Pole. This colossal storm is likely caused by high concentrations of ammonia in the atmosphere. Jupiter's auroras play a role in the Great Blue Spot's recurrence, triggering its disappearance and reappearance. These auroras transfer energy to Jupiter's atmosphere, creating temperature differences and vortexes that lead to the formation of cooler patches. Now, contrary to common belief, Jupiter doesn't orbit the Sun in the way we might expect. The center of gravity between Jupiter and the Sun exists just above the Sun's surface, causing both objects to orbit around this point in space. This principle, though less noticeable with larger objects, holds true for Jupiter due to its massive size. As our journey of discovery continues, the depths of Jupiter remain full of surprises waiting to be uncovered. So, 